Pisces. Welcome to your August 2018 horoscope. Well, this is an interesting month. We've got some new beginnings seeding with a solar eclipse happening. And we've also got still uh, this retrograde energy, what with Mercury retro and Mars retro for much of the month. Now, luckily you're a mutable sign. So when you want to, you can go with the flow and that sure is going to be one of the keys to making these aspects work in your favour. It's a great time to relax, to release, to surrender. If things aren't moving forward in the way that you had hoped or planned, allow the universe to bring you what is best for your highest self. And you may be very pleasantly surprised what happens when you release control of that steering wheel of your life. So let me break the month down for you. On the 7th, we've got Venus going into your 8th house. And Venus in the 8th could be some good news financially, somebody wanting to give you some money to support you, a grant, a scholarship, uh, a donation even. You might uh, work in collaboration with someone, get into some kind of a partnership deal that could be very uh, financially uh, remunerative. And you may also go more deeply into an existing relationship and uh, allow yourself to uh, get a little more intimate. And on the 11th of the month, we've got this solar eclipse, whoopsie, happening here in your sixth house, joining the sun and that Mercury retro. So this, remember that eclipses, the energy lasts for a good six months or so afterwards. So this is an opportunity for you to have some new beginnings as far as your work is concerned, an opportunity for new beginnings for your physical well-being, your physical health, and also some opportunity as well maybe for you to be of service to others, to help others. Your sign rules compassion and you may find yourself really wanting to volunteer or you might find yourself working with animals um, or little children in some way as well that will be very fulfilling for you. And on the 13th of the month we've got Mars going retrograde, going further backwards, usually the planets are going forwards, it's going further backwards until the 28th of the month and by next month things begin to start moving more easily, more fluidly, because the retrogrades are beginning to recede. And this Mars retro for the last couple of weeks of this month, joining Saturn and Pluto there in the 11th for you, you might be re-evaluating uh, some of the energy and time you've been putting into an organisation, community, your friends, your social networks, might be time to sort of cut things a little, simplify things um, so that you focus on what is most important and make that your biggest priority. And on the 20th, Mercury going direct, so an easier time for signing contracts, any important paperwork, legal paperwork, getting that done. Um, good time, easier time to do with technology, to do with communications of any kind and also should be easier to make travel plans, generally. On the 24th, yes, the sun coming into your seventh house of relationships. This is a new beginning for you, shining a light on a new relationship, potentially. A really invigorating, re-energizing an existing relationship in some way, but something new happening and something more joyful happening for you in the area of relationships potentially for you. And on the 26th day, full moon in your sign, resonating here with Neptune, shining a light on you, putting yourself into the picture. All too often you Pisceans, you put everybody else into the picture first, you forget yourselves, you make a lot of sacrifices. So this is shining a light and maybe showing you where you're making maybe too many sacrifices and where you need to focus on you, on nourishing you and doing what is important to you. And very important will be for you to keep trusting that intuitive voice. It will not guide you wrong. Usually the first message that you receive is the one to take heed of. 
So I wish you a wonderful month and I thank you very much for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.